Become a wealth creator today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184 to schedule your 15-minute call with Eric and his team. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. Welcome to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. Eric is founder and president at Heckman Financial right here in Silicon Valley. I want to start off by letting you know about the Wealth Creator Toolbox. This toolbox is something you can get complimentary and in it includes... Eric's book. Of course, he is an author. You know that. Worry Less Wealth. You get the book. And then there's some other educational reports that you can get all designed to help you understand how you can retire well. So all you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Toolbox 800-454-1184. And then always remember you can find us online anytime at wealthcreatorradio.com. Today we're going to talk about how most Americans are failing. They're getting a failing grade when it comes to retirement literacy. Eric, a big hello to you. Hey, Luann. It's great to be here and talking about what people really need to know, which is getting educated, getting information on money. I mean, it is such a critical thing. It affects every aspect of your life. And it's amazing how uneducated we are about it. Right. It really is. And I know you're you're someone who's big on education. You have lots of education backing up what you do as a financial advisor. You have all kinds of licenses and everything. So I'm, I'm assuming that when you were in school, good grades were pretty important to you. Yeah. I mean, I always expected to get good grades. It wasn't something that I ever thought about. You just did it, usually in the honors classes and all that other type of stuff. And, uh, you know, one of the things that blew me away is, uh, you know, in hindsight, I had, it might have been two days, but I remember one day talking about, you know, checking accounts and something. And we may have talked one more day about loans or something, but that was it. I know. Uh, And I mean, think about how many days of school you had. I mean, if you're going K through 12, right, 13 years, uh, you know, I actually, you know, even I got a finance degree. Uh, You know how many classes in in personal finance I had to take? Zero. (laughs) Even for a finance degree. (laughs) There was one personal finance uh, elective, which in hindsight probably should have taken since that's what (laughs) what industry I'm in now. (laughs) Uh, but yeah, most of the finance is really all talking mostly about corporate. I mean, there is stuff on econ and stuff, and e- economics is definitely very personal finance related. So I, it's not that I didn't have any training in that, but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it, it's still amazing that just the simple basic thing that we're all focused on is you know trying to get you know all the news is telling you know people about how well they're employed or how many people have jobs and blah blah blah. What about what do you do with the check once you get it? What do you do mm-hmm. with how, how do you put save money in savings or in 401ks, IRAs, you know, all this stuff? Why is that not a huge thing? Because you know how many financial problems and how many society problems would be fixed by just educating people first about money and then that way they don't get in trouble. Right. <laughs> first. Isn't, isn't that true in marriages too, right? Number one reason for a marriage failing is financial. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, so I mean it's amazing how many different things that percolates through and and so it's it's something that people really need to be always striving to do because obviously it's also something that changes too over time. Right. And so it is. It amazes me that we don't have as much even in high school, you know, for for everybody in high school we should have something like that. So anyway, because of all of this what you're talking about, Americans do get a failing grade when it comes to retirement literacy and that's what our show is all about. They're saying that females, about 89% of them flunked a 38-question quiz. Men failed the quiz, about 72% of them. But it's really funny. There's a a huge gap there with the people are lacking in the literacy when it comes to retirement. What topics do you find most people are struggling with when you're helping them with retirement? Well, it's all over the place. I mean, most people know nowadays, or at least the, the clients I'm talking to who are older typically, And they're closer to retirement. And most of them know the basics on, you know, 401ks and IRAs, but sometimes they're shocked at how much tax they're going to owe. They don't really necessarily always know, you know, how to figure out how money is going to last, how the money is going to come from, you know, all sorts of things. And, and so, yeah, I I think that's, that's one of the the critical things. And and we've actually started, geez, I think it's 12 years ago now, maybe Um, I started the Financial Knowledge Institute. And the Financial Knowledge Institute does a lot of talks at companies. We did a lot of uh, community center stuff. Obviously, with COVID, 
all that had to stop, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> so we haven't been doing as much, although we, we did do some uh, outreach work with uh, some single parent group, uh, actually, uh, when, when the crisis first hit. And so that's one of the things that we've been able to do is at least do some outreach of you know, how to help people and just give them some basic pointers and just how do you put some money away? How do you put some money in savings? You know, how do you get all those things going? And and once you know some of these things, it, it's a lot of it's pretty easy. It's just it's kind of like dieting and exercise, right? The ways to lose weight and be healthy. <laughs> you, yeah. know, you just got to do it. Yeah. And unfortunately, all that takes time and, and takes effort and no different than, you know, losing weight and being healthy, financial matters are just the same. It takes time, but if you don't do any of those things, then you end up being in a world of hurt and being very messed up, same often with uh, your health, right? So same, same way. <laughs> well, it's interesting in the study that uh, they did, uh, American College of Financial Services, about retirement literacy. So Eric, I got to tell you this, more women are, are serving as their household's chief financial officer, which I think we know that. We talk about that a lot. They do all the daily and monthly bills, but they need help with their retirement readiness, according to this study we're talking about today, the American College of Financial Services. So what's the difference between managing your monthly household budget and having an income strategy for retirement? Yeah, I mean, it's similar, but but very different, right? So, you know, having that that paycheck in retirement is a critical thing. And where's that money going to come from? When you're working, it's just okay. How you, how much can you pay? You know your bills, and how much can you spend? And you know all those kind of issues, right? So what we're really talking about in retirement is the same kind of thing, but more importantly, where's the income source? Usually, when you're working, it's pretty easy. It's the paycheck. Well, when you're retired, uh, you have to figure out where the paycheck comes from, right? <laughs> so you don't get a paycheck from one source. You get Social Security, you get retirement, you know, savings withdrawals, you get money you've saved up, all those things. And you have to create that lifetime income. And one of the things we have developed is this toolbox here that we have. So we've got a lot of resources up there. We've got a copy of my book. We've got a lot of educational materials uh, that you can pick and select from and just download. So again, if that's something you want to grab, super easy. All you have to do is text the word toolbox, or you can even call and leave a message for toolbox, but text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184. Again, that's 800 800- 454-1184, or you can download it uh, directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Thanks so much for listening. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. Eric, we often talk about conversations you have with couples and a surviving spouse, but single people have some additional challenges as well because it's all on them. What are some factors that single people need to consider for retirement planning? Yeah, exactly what you said there is it, it's all on them. You know, there's no other income. There's no you know, obviously making sure your money lasts is a really critical thing since it's just you. Now, in some ways, some things are a little bit easier because they don't have to worry about the surviving spouse or, you know, the other person, right? So they can actually spend a little bit more money and, you know, just making sure that that there is somebody, a family member, somebody there to help them out in case things go go south and especially health-wise. So, and so you need to have that income plan that says, well, how is your money going to last? Will it last the rest of your life? You need that investment plan to see how much risk are you you're taking today and is that too much or too little? At least you'll know before things go bad. So usually we just set up a 15 to 30 minute worry list wealth talk where we just find out what you're worried about, what concerns are. It could be on, on the phone or Zoom, whatever. You know, just kind of go over those basic things. Uh, then from there, what we do is we set up a an actual blueprint meeting where we create that blueprint to worry less wealth where we used to charge you a fee for, but now we're actually giving that free to, to people listening to the show. And so then what we do is we just uh, go through that income, investment, tax, healthcare, legacy plan, uh, tell you what's good, what's working, tell you what issues you might want to fix. And that's up to you if you want to work with us or do it on your own. But at least then you get that information that's so critically needed. So, yeah, definitely uh, give us a call again. You can either text the word visit or call 800-454-1184. Again, text the word visit 800-454-1184 or book directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. Are we headed towards a recession? If so, how will your retirement be impacted? With so much uncertainty on the horizon, the decisions you make today can have a huge impact on your financial future. When should you take Social Security? How will you reduce the impact of inflation? Are you comfortable with the amount of risk you're taking with your savings? 
Join Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial for an informational webinar where he'll discuss these factors and more. Spots are filling up fast though, so claim yours now. Go to wealthcreatorwebinar.com to find the day and time that work best for you. That's wealthcreatorwebinar.com. Don't let a recession or whatever the future holds dictate your retirement dreams. Sign up now for this free and informational webinar with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. Go to wealthcreatorwebinar.com. That's wealthcreatorwebinar.com. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Hi, we're so glad to have you with us today. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman, and he is an independent financial advisor. Heckman Financial is an independent firm. They're going to put you first. They will focus and help you make the best decisions on your situation so you can worry less in retirement. And that's what our show is all about. Now, I don't know, Eric, if you were ever a Rod Stewart fan. Did you ever like some of his music back in the day? Yeah. Well, he wrote this one song, which I don't know it, but it's Ooh La La. And in the song, it says, there's a line that says, I wish I knew what I know now when I was younger. And how many times have we all wished that? Have you wished that, Eric? Oh, of course. Yeah, we've all said that. And, uh, you know, I mean, one one of the uh, things is since I do have three boys and we've got some that are in their 20s mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh you know for me it, it is stuff i i can tell somebody they're yes, for that's right. they won't listen because they're my son yeah but, they won't listen right but... don't, you don't ever listen to your parents but, true, uh, true. no I, I mean there's there's definitely some financial stuff for sure i mean nowadays i mean my gosh there's it's crazy not to be using roth only um yeah not doing any traditional stuff that you have to pay the taxes on at the end uh, so, so that's probably the biggest change um, that that's come about. Now, that wasn't actually available to me in my twenties, so I guess I guess yeah. that's that one's actually okay for me to to <laughs> not you know to not to lament uh, that I didn't do it that back then. Would there be anything else you would advise your twenty year old self? Yeah, I, I mean, so one of the things. A lot of times, I'll have uh, you know my my clients ask me about their adult kids and what should they be telling them, and uh, you know, I, I think one of the biggest things. Uh, well, actually. I think one of the nicer things about the, this newer generation really is is that they tend to not spend as much. They tend to not be keeping up with the Joneses, Joneses as much and all that stuff. But, um, uh, you know, one of the things would be is, you know, first and foremost, you know, have that three to ideally six months of, of uh, just backup savings, you know, backup spending money. So if you figure out whatever your expenses are, you know, have have six months of that in the bank. If you want to go buy a place or you want to go bigger car, or you want to go whatever, add that to those expense bucket, right? And, and and start living off of that. Once you get up there, then yeah, start buying those things. Uh, that would keep you out of debt a lot and keep you off credit cards. So, so that's a that's a big one. Uh, you know, and then obviously if you do have a job that has any sort of retirement plan, the compound interest effect is just so monstrous when you're in your 20s that... Yeah, just putting in the minimum just to get that match. And again, putting that only in the Roth side. <laughs> so that way that money grows tax-free for the rest of your life. Way better deal. So th- those would be the, the two main things that I would tell anybody in their 20s. Yeah, okay. And so uh, there are financial advisors who say that there are five stages to our financial lives. That first one is the beginning, you know, when we're in our 20s. And then the next one happens, it's it's in our career phase, Okay. And that's when we're career building, we are maybe getting married, starting a family. So let's talk about the big financial steps that are happening at this point in someone's financial life, Eric. Yeah, well, the, I mean, that's when things get, uh, you know, a little bit more stressful, probably, right? <laughs> Once yeah. you yeah, buy the big scary house uh, yeah. and start having that mortgage and, and all those things. And, uh, you know, again, that's that's another time where you know, making sure you have that that backup that that three to six months, uh, ideally six months of of savings there, it gets to be more critical because once you have a lot more money riding on your income, and if you all of a sudden lose a job, uh, it can be pretty ugly, right? So, uh, you know, that that's this is the time frame where you, you know, mortgage debt is what we usually call as good debt, right? So that that's at least right. a debt that you're buying an asset with not uh, vacation debt or <laughs> new TV debt or whatever. Uh, you know, and, and so, yeah, just being smart about that stuff, uh, 
you know, not rushing to buy all the furniture for that place all at once. Or, uh, you know, one thing that I think we definitely did was, you know, when you have that first kid, you buy all the fancy furniture, all the all the cool stuff that you need for kids. And you yeah. kind of go, uh, half the stuff I used for three months or six months. Why, why did we spend so much money oh, on yeah. it, right? Mm-hmm. And so uh, avoiding a lot of that over expense, uh, you know, is, is, a, is a big critical one. But again, also... You know, making sure you just keep funding those retirement accounts and, and building up some of that money. Also building up some medium term money. I would say that's probably your later 20s and especially in your earlier 30s. Uh, medium term is money that's like five to 10 years. So not not in a retirement plan, but something where, you know, it, it's accessible. So it could be just, a you know, investment accounts or other things. Uh, because if you build up everything that's in at 59 and a half and that's, 30 years from now, right? That could be pretty brutal to, to get that money. So uh, having some medium term money also really helps for that next big item that you're going to buy and, and and all those types of things. Right. Okay. So do you work with many people in these first two stages of, a, of our financial lives? Not too much. I mean, our specialty is really getting the people to do that switch, you know, from, you know, their late 50s, early 60s into retirement. Uh, but but often we actually have clients of ours that say, hey, can you talk to my my son or daughter, help them out and yeah. and, and do things. So we've actually done a lot of that. Um, I also have some interesting people that uh, have got one one client right now that she's uh, when is she 47 and her goal is to retire at uh, um, 50. Ooh, three years. <laughs> very, yeah, very young and just live abroad uh, with her boyfriend and just. Huh. Yeah, you know, live fairly, you know, affordable, you know, type lifestyle and such, and and so yeah, in a way, she's like a fifty-five to sixty-year-old, but you know, trying to retire early, but just you know, just different ages. So, yeah. uh, so but but not as much. I mean, you know, I mean, we we do have my book, Worry Less Wealth, has a lot of stuff in there about you know uh, different types of investments, different things that apply to anybody at any age, really. So that that book was written for you know, any timeline. It wasn't for any specific, um, you know, only, you know, doing that shift to retirement, but it was really for for all times. And so that's something that actually people can download for free, actually, at uh, our toolbox site, uh, which is the Wealth Creator Toolbox. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, just text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184. Or download directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Now, Eric, how would you recommend someone finding the right financial professional for their current stage of life? Well, you know, one of the things you want to do is ask them, do you work with people like me? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, it sounds like a simple question, but it is, and it is. But, you know, you do want to have somebody who, who's, you know, focused on, on, your, on your timelines. Uh, you know, if it's somebody who is doing more high-end state planning and doing more just retirement planning and you're in your 20s, well, yeah, that you know, that's probably not going to be a great fit, right? Mm-hmm. And, and so, yeah, you do want to find somebody that, that, that is right for you. Uh, you know, so interview them, uh, ask other people. Uh, you know, one of the things that actually at, at our uh, website, our main website, you know, wealthcreatorradio.com, we actually even have a checklist that uh, people can go through that – of how to check out of another financial advisor, including myself. <laughs> so, uh, so it's got all the links, to all the licensing places, all all the places for uh, disclosure items, all those types of things. Uh, you do really want to have somebody who's got a fiduciary standard, so they don't have the they don't have a term called registered representative on their card. If they do, that means they have to work on a commission basis. Uh, you really want somebody who has a term called registered investment advisor. Uh, on their on their card because that means they they have that fiduciary standard to do what's in your best interest. So uh, so it's something to be to be thinking about for sure. Um, you know, and, and of course, you know, you want to be doing this planning the sooner you can. Going back to what you started off with, right? Of <laughs> what I wish I had done earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, for all of us, I think we wish we'd put more money away earlier on, not bought whatever the newest and latest thing. Actually, if you think about all the newest and latest things we bought. 
20, yeah. 30 years ago, we've thrown them all away um, because pretty much, <laughs> right? Because yeah. of those those high, high-tech high gadgets are no good anymore. Uh, our Walkmans or whatever, oh Discmans and all those fun things, right? Uh, our flip phones and such. So yeah, so that'd be one of the things to be to be thinking about. And if you pay yourself first, it's amazing how much more money you're going to have by just taking the time early and and just starting to to do that planning. Uh, you know, I've had clients where, you know, it's amazing. They're they're you know, like I said, I don't work with a ton of clients that are younger, but uh, you know, I've had some in their 30s where they've already got a ton of money built up, and you know, they could easily be financially free in their 50s. And that's because they started early. They didn't go crazy. They didn't go spend a lot of money. Now, granted, a lot of those are ones who didn't have any kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I guess I shouldn't say that saves you a ton of money, but it does. <laughs> it does. Uh, so, and since I got three of them, yeah. uh, definitely I can tell you that does save you money. But anytime you can save sooner and save more, more money or sooner or even just doing the planning, uh, you know, I think really people should spend take that time and, and do that critical planning. But again, we've got a lot of great tools and a lot of great ways to, to get some more information or even set up a time with me at Wealth Creator Toolbox, which is uh, easy to get. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184, or download directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Coming up next, we'll get into the pre-retirement years where some of your most critical financial decisions happen. That's next on Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Ekman. Do you know whether your retirement plan has any weak points? Discover ways on giving your financial future the proper tune-up. Simply go online to wealthcreatortoolbox.com to gain a better understanding in taxes, social security, and other ways to manage your portfolio. And that's how it's done. That's wealthcreatortoolbox.com. Hi, you're listening to Eric Heckman, president of Heckman Financial right here in Silicon Valley. I'm Lou Ann Fulmer. And, you know, it's no surprise that what is right for your money now probably will not be the case 10 or 20 years from now. Today, we've been talking about the five main stages of someone's financial life. And now we're going to get into this next stage, and that's your pre-retirement years. Eric, this is an exciting time because the house could be paid off. Hopefully, the kids are off your payroll and you're in your peak earning years. But this is also a time when you cannot afford to ruin it with wrong financial moves, right? Yeah, no, this is definitely the critical time. And this is really when most of our clients come to us and realize they need some help. <laughs> uh, well, typically also, you know, your portfolio balance has gotten bigger. Uh, you know, maybe you've got a half million, million dollars saved up now where when it was a hundred grand, it wasn't, you know, as scary to mess up, but it's a lot scary to mess up a bigger number, right? So in yeah, Bay Area, well, your mortgage may not be necessarily paid off, but <laughs> <laughs> at least it, it's it's more manageable and Obviously, tax strategies are starting to get to be a big thing. Now, typically, you're also in your higher earnings brackets, so it gets tougher to to do more tax savings because you're often in a higher tax bracket, right? So having to balance those two and, uh, you know, really looking at uh, having a plan. I mean, that that's the, the biggest thing is uh, lots of times people come to me and they just kind of go, I don't know how to do this. I mean, I've only put money in one direction. I've only gone in. And, you know, how, do, how do I pull it out from from where and? And sometimes, like, literally just, how do I get money? <laughs> you know, it's funny how people don't even think about that. It's like, does it come in a check? Does it oh. get direct deposited? I mean, you know, yeah. sometimes even the most basic questions, you know, you think people would, would get, but then it's like, oh, yeah, no, I've never really thought about. I could set this up as a direct deposit and get money out of my retirement plan. It's like, yeah, you can do that. So, yeah, so so there's a lot of questions. And, you know, this is the time where you don't, like I said, you really don't want to mess this up. I mean, there's some stuff that, you know, I, I do around the house, no problem, because, you know, I, I, I've i done a lot of those things. But there are, there's some stuff like, you know, I'm not a big fan of doing concrete because you have to work really fast. And oh. if you screw it up, it's really expensive and hard to get it fixed. <laughs> right? So, yeah. So same with retirement. You know, you only get to do this once and, uh, you know, you don't want to mess that up. No. Okay. So I want to get into that. You just brought it up. I want to get into making that transition from saving and then now we're in retirement and we do have to generate income in retirement. So kind of tell us where our income comes from in retirement, Eric. 
Well, I mean, we all have those huge pensions, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, pre pretty rare nowadays yeah. that they get one of those. So, yeah, now now it's gotten to be even more critical than ever. I mean, you literally used to be, you know, maybe your parents or grandparents that yeah you know, they'd work forever for a company and get that paycheck for life, get Social Security, and their savings were just to buy the boat or <laughs> take the vacation, right? Do the fun stuff. Yeah. Now it's all on you. I mean, yeah, you get Social Security and at the time when that is, and since Social Security keeps getting to be an older age, lots of times people are retiring before they even turn on Social Security. So, you know, that's one issue. And then how do you turn all those other buckets of money? You, you got IRA money, 401k money, Roth money, regular money, savings accounts, investment accounts. Yeah, if you think about those as all different buckets that you can grab money from, which one makes the most sense to take from, you know, at first and second and third and so forth. And so that's really where a lot of tax planning, along with income planning, comes into play. I'm always blown away by how many people in my business have no tax planning or no tax education or certifications. Uh, you know, that that's why I went out and got certified to do taxes, mainly because everything I was talking to people about was tax related. Oh, my and, gosh. Right. As you're taking money out of here versus there. Lots of times the mantra is, oh, don't touch your retirement plan. Don't touch your retirement plan. Well, I've done the numbers. That's really stupid. You could go from first retiring in the 10 percent bracket to when you first start taking that money out of your retirement plan, you might be in the 24 percent bracket. Well, why would you not take some more money that's taxable at 10 and instead of taking it at 24? That's a huge difference. So. Yeah, that's one of the things to be talking about. That's one of the things to be looking at is having an income plan that goes over that and then has the investment plan says, OK, I need this much income to supplement my Social Security and make sure I have enough money to live on. Plus having all the fun stuff, because, yeah, you do have seven days a weekend all of a sudden. Right. You want to yeah. have more fun. Right. And, you know, so then how do you have those investments structured? What's the tax ramifications of taking money from each source? Obviously, healthcare is a big deal. If it's before 65 or if it's after 65, then, you, then what's the best options for Medicare? And then lastly, like, you know, is a legacy is, is a big one, right? Who's going to get your money? Is it in the right positions? Do you have the right beneficiaries? And, you know, that's our blueprint to worry less wealth. And that's the, those five areas that are so critical to to have in place. And, you know, that's one of the things that you can set up a time with us to talk about that. We can set up a 15 to 30 minute phone call. Or you can just get my book, Worry Less Wealth. We've got all these great tools and links and, and information set up for you. All you have to do is text the word TOOLBOX to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word TOOLBOX, 800-454-1184. Or download at wealthcreatorradio.com. I love, Eric, how you brought up that you are certified in tax planning and we haven't talked, we don't talk about that enough. So let Eric and his awesome team help you make decisions so you won't pay more in taxes. Keep more of your hard earned money in your pockets. That's the name of the game, especially in retirement. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. Now, Eric, the last couple stages of our financial life happen during retirement. In your early years of retirement, you're doing things on your bucket list, right? But how do you guide people, help them create this spending strategy so you can enjoy all those things you want to do early in retirement, but you can't also blow through your savings too quickly. You have to be careful. Wow, that, that one's a tougher one. I, yeah. I do have to have a lot, a lot of uh, sit downs with clients and go, <laughs> um, you know, did you see how much money you're spending? <laughs> I, uh, really? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I literally had a client that uh, they got married late in life there. And, well, it, you know, they uh, actually got had COVID even delayed it even more. But, oh. the, with, you know, they were living together, but then they finally kind of merged finances and stuff. But, you know, we talked about pre-retirement that they needed about 9000 a month. And they were going through money, going through money. And then we finally I had them redo the, 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 the no BS budget, which is uh, take your last 12 months of bank withdrawals and add them up and divide by 12. And that's how much money you spent. And yeah. when they added up all those withdrawals and divided by 12, it was 15,000 a month. Mm, they were spending not nine. That's quite <laughs> a so, difference. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a two thirds, you know, percent Ooh. higher, right? You know, yeah. so that's almost double the money that, that, you know, and so then that was explaining why balances were going down faster and such. And so, so you know, you, you definitely do have to have that planned out. Uh, you have to have a re real budget. You have to check on it every year. So, 
that's one of those critical things that we do with our clients is we check in with them, see if they're still on course and, and see if we need to make any adjustments. And, you know, you always want to have the, uh, the fun fund, as I like to call it. <laughs> so that's, that's to do all those bucket list items because, you know, people always say, oh, no, I got plenty of money. I got plenty of money. And then they spend 30000 that year on vacations or trips, and yeah. that was not budgeted at all. It's like, um, Oops. well, if you divide that by 12, how much is that per month that you just <laughs> right, <laughs> spent? And that's why it's messing up your budget. So, no, I, that that is a critical thing. And, and so, yeah, the way we do it is just really kind of updating that income plan every year throughout retirement. Okay. And so you meet up again and again with the couple or the individual. What would you suggest someone needs to start thinking about estate and legacy planning, Eric? Well, they should always have it in in mind, no matter what, because you never know when it comes, sure. you create. Right? Sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, as you're spending down assets and such, uh, you do want to, you know, plan that all out, make sure everything's set up the correct way. Make sure you've got not just first beneficiaries, but second beneficiaries. Uh, that's a big thing we're, you know, we're doing for all of our clients is making sure we force them to have a second beneficiary pretty much. Uh, yeah, just because of you never know, yeah. right? Especially if it's a couple and they both go together, one accident, well, who gets their stuff if there's no second beneficiary? So, mm-hmm. yeah, so you really need to have that planned out as part of the whole overall plan. And again, when we're doing that blueprint to worry less wealth, we're doing that income, investment, tax, healthcare, and legacy plan all together. Uh, That's something you can set up a time and and talk with us, set up a 15 to 30 minute phone call. We can kind of go over your questions and your answers and just kind of go over those types of issues. Or you can also just go to our website uh, and our toolbox site and get some of those great stuff about how will your money last as long as you do? Are you paying too much in taxes? The Social Security decision, all those fun things, and even my book, Worry Less Wealth. So if you want to grab that, all you have to do is text the word toolbox 800 454 1184. Again, text the word toolbox 800 454 1184 or download directly at Wealth Creator Radio. Are we headed towards a recession? If so, how will your retirement be impacted? With so much uncertainty on the horizon, the decisions you make today can have a huge impact on your financial future. When should you take Social Security? How will you reduce the impact of inflation? Are you comfortable with the amount of risk you're taking with your savings? Join Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial for an informational webinar where he'll discuss these factors and more. Spots are filling up fast though, so claim yours now. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com to find the day and time that work best for you. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Don't let a recession or whatever the future holds dictate your retirement dreams. Sign up now for this free and informational webinar with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. Go to WealthCreatorWebinar.com. That's WealthCreatorWebinar.com. Investment advisory services offered through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. You're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. Eric is here to offer you help with a retirement strategy. He always talks about this on our show. We have for you a Wealth Creator Toolbox that you can get complimentary, which includes his book and a whole bunch of other educational reports that can guide you with retirement. All you have to do is text the word TOOLBOX, 800-454-1184, 800-454-1184. Just text that word TOOLBOX. A lot of times on our show, we talk about fun things, you know, like planning vacations and what you want to do in retirement. But then there are other things that are really just as important, but a little harder to plan and talking about your final wishes. So, you know, even your funeral. And a lot of times you don't want to sit down and think about it, but it is so much easier on your loved ones if you do that. Eric, I got to tell you, you know, we lost my brother-in-law last summer and he had been sick for about two years. And I I couldn't believe that after he passed, my poor sister-in-law was running around trying to figure out where they were going to be buried. They had not even done that yet. These things are not fun to think about ahead of time, but at the same time, you know, you you do need to get that done. So it's a lot easier on yourself or, or even your loved ones. Tell us what you've learned from your own personal experience. Yeah, it can be very tough and very stressful. And probably the one I, I liked the most uh, is uh, one of my clients called it a fog. She felt like she was in a oh. fog. And, mm. and you know, over the next couple of years, every time we'd meet, she would talk about how the fog's lifting and it's mm. getting more visible and things. And 
and you know, I think that was a kind of a good way to do it. And imagine you're in a, you know, almost a whiteout fog kind of condition and mm. you're having to make, like you said, for your sister-in-law, you know, decisions on, you know, what to do here and what to do with this. And, mm. uh-huh. uh, you know, then of course you got finances, uh, you know, do you want to have this rolled over to your name? Do you want to have this in, in theirs or how do you, uh, you know, there's all these things that you have to all of a sudden decide and they can have huge tax ramifications, huge cost ramifications. I think there's a lot of things that people really need to be doing. And, um, yeah, it's, you know, like you said, vacations are way more fun to plan than this, but, uh, yeah, this will happen. This is guaranteed. So (laughs) take take some time, right? Yeah, take some time, figure it out. Yeah. And, you know, since you and I've been doing this show, I'm 62, almost 63. And I'm, I really, truly am starting to think through all these things and wanting to get our plans together. We have not done that. We've talked about it, but we have not done that yet. But um, AARP has some really good resources on on how you can help your family by taking a few basic items, by taking care of a few basic items. So, Eric, let's go over those. Tell us about what are some things we should consider doing. Well, obviously, what we were talking about there is if you want to be buried or cremated and all that stuff, just mm-hmm. have that kind of planned out. And, you know, you save a lot of money if you do that ahead of time, too. So it, it just makes more sense. But the biggest things that I've always seen the, the most uh, ill will and the, and the worst situation is not the financial. It's the mm-hmm. stuff or lack of a better term, the junk. Yeah. Uh, often it's stuff that nobody else really cares about. I, I, at one point I had a kind of a cool situation where I had a four generation client, you know, and oh, you know, all the that, way from, yeah. the, you know, from grandma all the way down to, to, you know, great grandson stuff. And, and when grandma passed away, one teenage daughter went in there and got some of grandma's shoes and the other sister who and had a teenage daughter was all mad because why'd you go take grandma's shoes? Now, grandma had been a client of mine for a long time and her shoes were not fancy. <laughs> Uh, so, but it was just like, hey, the fact that you went in there and you took stuff without asking me and blah, blah, you know, and, yeah. and, oh, cute. and, and it's just, you know, somebody gets this, but I'm the one who always spent the time with that and with, mm-hmm. with him or, you know, so yeah, having, you know, you, you can either write it down or, you know, the best thing is, you know, take a picture. I mean, it's easy to take mm. pictures and print them off. Right. So yes. if there's some sort of sentimental item, some picture, some, uh, you know, like actually my my own grandfather was a van driver for United Van way back when and for a while. And he always had this cool little miniature, you know, uh, United Van truck. Oh, yeah. My sister always wanted that. So she made sure, you know, he, he put her name on the bottom of it. Yes, um, that's cool. You know, so, but nowadays you don't even have to do that. Just take a picture yeah. and put it in your trust or put it in your, you know, important materials and say this is who gets what. And, you know, ask people ahead of time, right? And so that way they know and... Uh, you know, having a plan is is so, so important. Again, I, I think it's really a good, great time to, to reach out and, and get some resources and, and talk to somebody. Uh, so, you know, if you want to get, get that toolbox, get some information there. And then if you want to reach out or if you have somebody in that situation, definitely have them get a hold of us and we can help them a lot. Again, you can either text the word toolbox or just uh, call and request it at 800 454 1184. Again, that's toolbox 800-454-1184 or request it directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. Eric, sometimes you are one of the very first people contacted by the family after a client passes away. Why don't you tell us some things that you go over with that spouse or or maybe with the children of a client who has died? Yeah, well, it's it's always tough. And and probably one of the hardest ones I had was I had a client that she had put money in one account years, years ago, and then she started doing stuff on her own. And um, ironically, my office is now in her old building. um, Oh, wow. (laughs) Where she worked. But um, she ran it all. She did all the finances, everything, and had it all go to her work email. What? And so when she passed away, they couldn't even know where the monies were. They couldn't even figure out. So, you know, oh, her no. husband came in with her 18-year-old son and they were trying to, in essence, hack into their accounts or find their accounts. But all the resets go to her work email, which she worked for a bank and that gets shut off the second you pass away. Oh, goodness. So, so one of the things is, yeah, just, you know, helping them log into accounts, helping yes. them figure out where the accounts are. Yeah, sometimes you do some detective work, you know, look at, did you have any interest from, you know, stuff on your last tax return, mm-hmm. you know, from different places. And, you know, so that's one of the things. Uh, what should you do with each account? Uh, there's a lot of legal ramifications with, you know, if you roll over 
IRA money to somebody's name or not. Um, you know, so there, there's a lot of stuff about inherited IRAs or not, uh, or you know, if it's a spouse, they can roll it to their own name. Uh, if they're under 59 and a half, then you may not want to roll it to your own name. So there's a lot of things around that. And, and then just even resetting the tax basis. There is a thing called step up in basis. When somebody dies, you get it, you inherit it at, at today's market value. So, you know, you need to reset all those bases and stuff. So there's there's a lot of little things to, to go into it. And, you know, we just kind of help walk them through there and kind of guide them through that process. Well, you know, like we're saying, none of these things are fun to talk about. But we are not promised tomorrow. We don't know when our final day is. And that's why we're talking about something so important like this. You know, don't put this off. Plan out what you need to do. Tell us how things like estate planning, legacy planning, like we're talking about, fit into your overall process. You, this fits right in with your blueprint to worryless wealth. Yeah, certainly. I mean, you have to have a plan for this. I mean, it's not, yeah, you literally don't take it with you. <laughs> Somebody's going to get it. Mm-hmm. Is it going to be somebody who's going to go through just pure agony, having to go through the court systems and, and figuring out how much to pay attorneys and court costs and all this other just awful stuff um, that that you may have, have stuck somebody else with having to deal with uh, because you didn't take the little bit of time to fix it, right? And, uh, you know, and then also making sure it goes to the right people. Um, did you do the right beneficiaries? If, if maybe one of your children predeceased you, does their children get your money or does, is this all default to your other kids? And then they just, their kids get disinherited. You know, there's little things like that that people just don't think about. You know, it's just one of these things where you have to have this plan and done. Uh, you know, if you own any sort of property, you really got to have a trust. I mean, you need to have a living trust set up. Uh, work with a state planning attorney if you if you don't you know if you have one or something. Um, maybe if you're somebody who just doesn't want to meet with anybody and just likes to do stuff on their own. Um, well, actually, if you go to wealthcreatorradio.com, we'll actually have a link for an online version of, of a trust that you can set up there. And it's really nicely well done trust that that we've you know, reviewed and and talked to the the people who set it up and you know at least get that that planning process done because you need to make sure that that process is taken care of because you can either leave somebody a mess that they have to hunt through things and find and search and um, just go through pure agony or you can leave them a fairly nice situation that. Believe it or not, still takes a lot of time and effort. Right. <laughs> if anybody's yeah. helped anybody having to settle a state, it's still a ton of work if it's in the right order. If it's out of order, if it's messed up, oh my gosh, it can be just a nightmare to deal with. And, and it's almost like a second job. And you know you don't want to leave that to other people. You don't want to leave that to you know to your to your loved ones, especially. So taking some time and doing that, and you know what's what we do here at Heckman Financials, we actually help people eliminate that worry. There are some great new options, but people really need to educate themselves and find out what's out there. So that's something that that if you wanted to take advantage of, look at those resources first at, at the toolbox. You know, check those out. If you want to set up a time after that, we can definitely talk and help you. But uh, yeah, this is probably one of the most critical times, the biggest shifts we've had in the economy economy in a positive way. Yes. <laughs> so you hear all the bad news. This is a positive. Uh, these are some great new options out there, some stuff I haven't seen ever before. So uh, loving it because we have so many more options for our clients. So again, if you want to get that, you can either text the word toolbox or you can just leave a message. Both of them would be 800-454-1184. Again, that number is 800-454-1184. Or you can request it directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. And we'll be right back with more of Eric Heckman and Wealth Creator Radio. Stick around for the rest of our show. Become a wealth creator today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184 to schedule your 15-minute call with Eric and his team. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. Hi, this is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Lou Ann Fulmer. Eric is president of Heckman Financial, where their mission is to get you to and through a worryless wealth retirement. So we have come to the part in our show where Eric tells us a wealth success story. So this is always a nice lesson of something you know, that worked out for someone, a good example to see how things can work out the best for retirees. So Eric, why don't you tell us about what you have for us today? Yeah, well, you know, in, in 30 years of doing this, uh, I've seen a lot of smart things and a lot of things that people don't do. <laughs> it's not so smart. <laughs> you, but, you've seen it all. <laughs> you know, seen it all for sure. You know, really, it, it's it's always so 
boring sometimes when the answer is they, you know, people took some time to plan. <laughs> but <laughs> but often that, that, you know, believe it or not, that's actually usually the case. And I was doing a review at the end of 2022 with, with a client that, um, you know, we'd started working together in 20, uh, well, it's 2020, actually. So, uh, you know, the you know, we're obviously in the middle of the COVID stuff mm-hmm. and all that, but they were, you know, still working from home and, and wanting to retire. And so they wanted to start, you know, getting that plan together, making sure they had everything set up. And, and so, you know, we started looking at all the various accounts. Uh, we started doing some Roth conversions back then because, you know, with the market being down and then back up and such, uh, you know, we put some money into foundational stuff, stuff that can't go away, stuff that that's guaranteed. Uh, when the markets do good, they they earn some good income and, and earn some good rates. Uh, but when the markets go down, they they don't lose. And then we also had some steady income funds that that pay good dividends that are less volatile. Well, of course, in 2021, everything did great, right? So they were very happy, <laughs> and you know, as everybody is, right? Nobody ever complains when everything's up, right? And then, of course, 2022 came around, and and everything went right back down, and. The nice part was that that, that foundational money, uh, their statement said negative nineteen percent. You earned zero. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, right. I mean, it's very yeah. You know, negative nineteen is not good, but when you earn zero but you lost zero, right. I mean, you should have almost said you lost zero, not you earned that's zero. That's what it should have said. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. It should say that. <laughs> And, you know, and so that was very reassuring for them to say, wow, okay, now we know where we can take some money out of for this first year if we need some, because we know that that didn't go down and, and we know we can kind of weather these storms. And that's why this process works. Uh, you know, the, the nice thing for me is, you know, a lot of times when you first start out doing something, you don't know if it's going to work. And especially if it's something that takes years to, to, you know, to go through the process. If you want to get a little bit more data, you want to set up a time to talk, or if you just want to kind of look over some of the resources we have, we have some great stuff on paying too much in tax and how to empower yourself. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184, or go directly to and download it at wealthcreatorradio.com. Information provided during Wealth Creator Radio is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute investment tax or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with a qualified investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Individuals should thoroughly review the contract for specific details of the product features and costs. Income payments and withdrawals from deferred annuities are generally taxable as ordinary income in the year they are taken. Eric Heckman offers investment advisory services through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Any tax advice given as part of this presentation is not intended to be used and cannot be used by the taxpayer for the purpose of avoiding tax penalties or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any matter or transaction addressed herein. The views and opinions expressed in the program are not necessarily those of the radio station or its sponsors, and they should not construe as legal, tax, or investment advice. You should always consult the appropriate advisor before making any financial decision.